Picture this, a roaring crowd at Beijing's Bird's Nest Stadium. But instead of sprinters warming up at the start line, it's robots. Not science fiction, not a movie trailer, this is real. And on day one of the very first World Humanoid Robot Games, a machine named Unitree H1 didn't just run, it rewrote history. Over 500 humanoid robots from 280 teams in 16 countries showed up to what people are already calling the Robot Olympics. The events? Everything from track races and football to boxing, cleaning, and even medical sorting. But let's be honest, the spotlight was stolen the second the races began, and the name everyone's talking about? Unitree H1. You might remember it from the Chinese Spring Festival Gala, but today it wasn't on stage entertaining. It was out there dominating the track. First up, the 1500 meter run. Now we all know robots aren't exactly famous for endurance, but Unitree H1 blew past every expectation, finishing the distance in 6 minutes and 34 seconds. Sure, that's about 3 minutes behind the human world record, but let's pause here. A humanoid robot, balancing on two legs, ran the entire race without collapsing into a pile of parts. That alone is history-making. But the twist? Unitree didn't just take first place, it also grabbed third. Second place went to Tian Kung Ultra, another rising star in this robotic battlefield. And then came the 400-meter sprint. This was the race everyone had been waiting for. Imagine sleek humanoid machines, lined up tense and ready as the stadium held its breath. The gun fired and H1 was off like lightning. When the dust settled, the scoreboard flashed 1 minute and 28.03 seconds. But here's where it gets wild. The stopwatch had it at 1 minute and 23.03 seconds. That's how close robots are getting to human-level sprinting. Think about that. We're not just talking balance anymore, we're talking speed. Now, let's not act like everything was smooth. Robots stumbled during football, face-planted during the opening ceremony, and a few even froze mid-run like someone forgot to update their software. The crowd went from gasping to laughing to cheering as these machines picked themselves back up and kept going. And honestly, those moments made the event feel even more alive. This isn't just about medals. These games are about showing where we are in the race between human imagination and robotic reality. China has poured billions into robotics and AI, not just for entertainment, but to tackle real-world challenges like an aging population and future labor shortages. And on that track in Beijing, the message was clear. Humanoid robots aren't just concepts anymore. They're competitors. Unitree's double gold is proof. Their H1 didn't just run races, it set a new benchmark for what's possible when persistence meets innovation. Today it's track events. Tomorrow, it could be factories, hospitals, or maybe even the Olympics alongside human athletes. So here's the question. Are we watching the birth of a new kind of sports league, or is this the training ground for robots that'll one day work side by side with us? Either way, what went down in Beijing was more than a race. It was the future taking its first lap around the track. If you love this glimpse into tomorrow, smash that like button, subscribe Technology X AI, and ring the bell. Because trust me, the next chapter in the Robot Olympics is only getting faster.